this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make anywhere from 300 to $500 a day by helping local businesses out with their Google Map rankings. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in a completely automated way, how to set all of this up in less than 60 minutes, and how to close deals all from this video. And so let's start this video off with a tiny bit of context so you can understand why there's so much money making potential here. We are gonna start things off with google.com and because I live in Boston, I'm just gonna do a quick little search for something like Boston restaurants. Now you can do this in your city and you can do this with any niche. It doesn't have to be Boston and it doesn't have to be restaurants. But for the sake of this example, I just wanna make this easy and fast. And if you take a look at all the top results that you see here on Google, you're going to notice that they all have one thing in common. And it is that they have thousands of reviews where maybe these guys have 580. Now, the reason for that is that although reviews aren't the only ranking factor, they're a giant one where if you want to be in the top 10, you have to at least be in a similar ball range in terms of reviews compared to the competitors. Now, helping businesses increase their rankings on Google, that is known as search engine optimization or SEO. And it's a service that people will pay thousands and thousands of dollars every month for. And what we can do is an automated solution that takes about 60 minutes to set up to help local businesses get more reviews and thus help them increase their rankings and get more customers. And so let's start with part one of this video. I'm going to show you how to get the customers lined up. I'm going to show you how to reach out to them. And then I'm going to show you how to automate the whole process. And so the worst way to go ahead and find what customers we're going to reach out to is by just going on Google and taking a look at the businesses. We want to do it in a much more time efficient manner. And so my favorite way of doing it is using a service called D7 Lead Finder. And so D7 Lead Finder, they have a couple of paid options here. The one that most people are going to need is going to be the middle one because it gives you access to the review score from all the different review platforms. But if for some reason you don't want to have want to do a paid service, I'm going to have links to a couple more free ones in the description below. But also understand that time is money and this will save you a ton of time because it will just give you every business in your city. And so you probably won't even need it for more than one month. And so after you use Z7 Lead Finder and you tell it to find you all the restaurants in Boston or XYZ businesses in your city, you're gonna get a massive list like this one. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just export it as a CSV. And you're gonna get a massive list that looks something like this. Now, the types of businesses that we're gonna be looking for are the ones that don't have a lot of reviews or they don't have the best reputation score. Those are the ones that we want to help. And so in this case, we're gonna be looking for businesses that let's say they have over 10 reviews. That way we know they're at least a legitimate business and that are maybe under 200 or 250 reviews. That way we know that they, they're serious, they're legit, but they also do need more help. And now I know that all these columns here are kind of scary if you're just looking at it as a wall of text, but they're actually really cool. You're getting the business name, the telephone number, the email, you have the business website, the LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, they're basically their socials over here, how many followers they have. So there's a lot of information that we can do with this. We don't just have to pitch reviews. There's a lot more than we can pitch. And that is definitely something that I teach in our free community. But anyways, what we're looking for are these columns over here where it has Google stars. And so let me just expand this and then Google count. And we want to select the entire first row and apply a filter to it. That way we can organize this information. And so let's start with the filters here. We want all the businesses that let's say have less than 4.4 star reviews. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do one where we want businesses that have, let's do greater than 10 reviews, but we want them to be less than let's say 250. And so we've applied the filter. It's cut down on the list a bit. What we want to do is grab all this information by control pasting everything onto a, another sheet over here. And so we can see that we have about 100 leads to work with. We're going to add another filter over here. We're going to just filter by email. It doesn't matter if you do A to Z or Z to A. We just want to see how many email addresses we have, which is about 60. So here we have about 60 restaurants that we can email and that we know need help with the reviews for sure. And so this right here is the fastest way for you to find your prospects, your ideal target clients, people that are going to be receptive to buying the service from you and receiving help and getting reviews. And it took us a whopping three minutes to do all of this. Now, if you were to have done this manually, it would have probably taken 20 hours. So that's why I think like D7 Lead Finder is worth it because even if you only make three dollars an hour with whatever you're doing now it is still more efficient to go and just get d7 lead finder and so now that we have this we have to create our outreach campaign. And the easiest way to do that is with an all-in-one marketing tool called High Level. Now, before we go into High Level and log into it, I wanna let you know a couple things. And it is that number one, all the automations that you're about to see, the things that automate the process of acquiring clients and then delivering the results to them, you can get completely for free just by becoming an affiliate of mine, by starting your 30-day free trial of High Level down below using our link. And even if you already have an existing High Level account, you can upgrade to SaaS mode 
and you will get all of these automations for free. And so now let's log into high level and let's look at how the outreach campaign works. So here we have our review outreach campaign. And first I'm going to go over the structure and then I'm going to go over what to say. So starting off, whenever I do any sort of outreach campaign, I like to split test message number one so that we can at least start getting a gauge of does message A outperform message B instead of just having one and then going and split testing a second one to see if can we make improvements. For the first message, I always like it to be a battle between which is going to be the better one so that we can constantly improve and keep making better campaigns. And so that's what you see here. You see the split element and then you see email one, email two. And so next up, we are going to be waiting for replies. And I know this looks complicated, but it's really easy if you just follow along. Everything you see here on the left side, these are just notifications. So for example, if I get a reply from a customer, I'm going to receive a SMS notification, meaning my cell phone's going to let me know, hey, there's a lead that's interested in buying this service. I'm going to get an email. And you just see that all the way down here where anytime somebody responds to this campaign, we, we get that reply. But what's more interesting is what happens if we send out our first email, but nobody does reply. That's where we do up to four follow-up messages to try and get their attention. Now there's four rules that I'm about to teach you with email marketing. If you want to bring in clients and it's going to be that with your outreach emails, number one, they should be as short as possible with them being three to five sentences at most. Number two, they need to be direct and to the point. And number three, they need to offer value and value can be defined as either a case study, a testimonial proof or something that you're giving away for free. And number four, they have to be at least a little bit personalized. And so let's pretend that I don't know how to pitch to a restaurant. How do I come up with an effective marketing message for this? And for that, I'm going to go over to an AI tool called Claude. Claude is just kind of like another chat GPT. I don't think there's that much of a difference when it comes to email copywriting, which one you use. I've just personally been enjoying Claude a lot more right now. Plus the colors match my hat, but regardless, uh, one last rule I forgot to mention, the fifth rule is you always want to keep your marketing messages at a grade three to five writing level. This is regardless if you're sending out email copy or putting words on a website, you just really want to keep it super easy to understand. The reason for that, in case you're curious, is because the bigger the words that you use, the harder it becomes to understand an idea. The harder it is to understand an idea, the more confused your customers get. And then the more confused your customers and leads get, the less likely they become to buy. And so all that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this prompt over here, which is you are an expert copywriter and email marketer. I want to create an outreach sequence to pitch my automated software that helps restaurants get more reviews. I want it to offer free value and make it no longer than four to five lines. Keep it at grade three to five writing level. And so we're going to hit send and I'm going to come back once this is done. Okay. And so here we have the first three responses and I've already gone with the next step. So everything is loaded for y'all, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Claude come up with anywhere from like six to 10 emails. And I'm going to take a look at what are all the best parts from these emails. And I'm going to start like mixing and matching until I have a really good email. So we can see here that it's already giving us some pretty good ones. So then I tell it like, Hey, give me six more. And then I get six more examples that are pretty good. And then to top it off, I'm just going to ask it for a couple of subject lines. So I ask Claude, Hey, give me 15 compelling short and to the point subject lines to go with this email. And it's already giving great ideas. So for example, how competitor got 27 new reviews. That's a good one. Quick tip for more Boston diners. That's going to be a good one. Restaurant name. Sorry, your amazing food photos. That's going to be a good one. Not all of them are going to be fantastic, but it's definitely going to be enough to give you some ideas where it should be pretty hard to mess this up. And so over here, now I'm going to start plugging all of this into the automations. And once again, if you guys already want all of this pre-built and downloaded into your high level account, literally one click, that is a bonus that I give to all of my affiliates link for the 30 day free trial is going to be down below. High level is the single software that I put my name behind because I believe that much in it. And so here's an example of a message, customer first name. Did you know that 78% of diners check reviews before visiting a restaurant? I have an automated system that can get you your next 10 reviews for free. Can I show you a demo? So super simple and to the point. And so then we go over to the one that's being split test over here. So, Hey, contact first name, love the food photos on your website, but I notice you don't have as many reviews as your competitors. Here's how other Boston restaurants are getting 15 to 20 new reviews. And we're going to switch this from each month to each week without begging their customers. And so real quick, cause I'm really nerdy about this. I want to share the secret with you guys. This is a copywriting headline that you're going to see all the time, which is just like, here's how to get the thing that you love without what you hate. So that's what's happening here because restaurants want more reviews, but they don't want to beg their customers for it. The secret is automation and I'd be happy to help company name. So for example, whatever the restaurant name is going to be, get their next 10 reviews for free. It's part of a demo. Would you be interested? Then I'm going to hit save. And then if they reply, they just go over here where we get pinged. And then if they don't reply, then we go over here and we continue our follow up messages. And then next email here is just your diners want to help is the subject line. And then the, if you guys notice the messaging should stay simple to the point and short contact first name. What if I could turn happy customers into five star reviews while they're still at the table? I've got a free tool that makes this easy. Want to see it? 
And this isn't a bad call to action, but we could actually make it a little bit better. So we could offer free value. Happy to give you a demo by helping. And then we're gonna go over to custom values here. We're gonna click over on contact. We are going to click on company name. By helping contact company name, get their next five reviews for free over the next seven days. And this is another copywriting trick that we use, which is like offering the thing that they want for free and then in a short time period. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. And in a nutshell, this is all that it takes to create a really good email outreach campaign. And then I'll just, I'll just show you the third one here, just so you have another example. Contact first name. If you were to search for the top Boston restaurants, you would notice that the top businesses have a lot more reviews. That's because reviews are a primary ranking factor for your SEO. If I could offer a completely done for you review automation service that will not only get you hundreds of positive reviews, but also save you thousands on your SEO as a bonus, would you want a free trial? And so this is the general format of an outreach campaign. What's gonna happen is we're gonna take that list of people that we just got from D7 Lead Finder, we're gonna be plugging them into this campaign in high level. And so while we're sleeping, high level is going to be reaching out to all of these potential customers, and you're gonna get all these people that are interested. And so far, what we've done is I've shown you in how within like less than 30 minutes, you can not only get a list of all the businesses in your city, but also how you can go ahead and just build an email outreach campaign so that you're not cold calling, you're not going in and visiting people because if you're anything like me, you're probably introverted <laughs> And you hate doing that and you probably only want to talk to business owners that are already interested in your service they already know what you sell you don't really have to pitch them and so this is how we can do all of that it's with an automated email outreach campaign so this comes to the next part of the video where we now have to set up a method for helping these businesses actually get the reviews and automating the process and so here's how we're going to do that within high level we're going to build out a qr code where the restaurant can go and print this qr code they can put it on their menu they can put it on like if you've ever visited a restaurant there's usually like a wooden block where like they put the condiments and all the other stuff, the napkins, et cetera, on the table, they can put the QR code there. And then when a customer scans that QR code, boom, it takes them to the review page. That's gonna be method number one. And so to do that, all we have to do is we go over to high level, we go to sites, we go over to QR codes, and here you can create your brand new QR code. And what we wanna do is we wanna click the website button to link to anywhere. We're gonna hit next. And then we got to pick the URL. And so let's pretend that we're helping, let's go with someone that doesn't have a ton of reviews instead of one of these big guys. And so here we have Custer's Roast Beef and Seafood. Friday night with the ladies, let's go. And so what we want to do here, and pay attention, it's we want to click on their their name so that we get this thing to pop up here. And then I recommend that you download a Chrome extension called Gather Up so you can see it here. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab this link here, which is Google write a review URL. We want to open up a notepad file and we want to go ahead and just paste this URL here and save it. Or we can start by placing it here, but there's a little bit more work that we need to do. We're not done yet because the next thing that we have to do is we actually have to find the place ID for this business. And what we have to do now is we have to find the place ID for that business. The easiest way to do it is what we're looking for is the place ID finder on Google. Once you reach this page, I recommend you save it. Um, but the, let's pretend you don't know how to get to this page. So we're just going to go back to google.com. We're going to go to Google developer place ID finder. And this is the link that we're looking for. And then all we have to do is plug in the name of the business that we're working with. So in this case, Custer's roast beef and seafood. And then you can see here that it gives us the place ID here. And so we just grab that. We paste it over here in this link. We grab this link. We go over here to our QR code. And just like that, we now have a QR code that when somebody scans this, it's going to automatically ask them for a review. So let's watch that in action. I'm going to copy paste it into this browser tab here. And boom, it loads just like that. So that's the first way that we're going to help these businesses get more reviews in an automated way. It's just by making them that QR code. And that's what we can start giving to them for free. And let's say you want to take a more aggressive approach to client acquisition. Something that you can do for pennies on the dollar is just go and set up these QR codes for all these businesses that need these reviews. Actually go to them, give them the QR codes to put wherever they need to put, and then put your contact information. Like give a card along with the QR code stack. Be like, hey, my name is Bruno Souza. Use your name. 
I help restaurants get more reviews and increase their SEO, bring in more traffic, whatever your marketing pitch is. Give me a call at this number. Here's a couple QR codes to help you guys completely for free. And then you send them the email campaigns and follow up with them. By you showing up in person and hand delivering these first, you could easily scale this to a $10,000 per month business in just 30 days. And you can apply this to pretty much every industry, including home improvement. Walk into an office, give a couple of QR codes, tell them business owner or the manager, hey, these are for your guys. These are QR codes that take you straight to a review page. Take this to a gym and have all the trainers have one. Point being is this is a very targeted approach to a client acquisition that you can pair up with the automated outreach that I just showed you. And this was something that took us less than three minutes to set up in high level. And so let's go to the next point, which is we wanna automate some of the review acquisition strategies. And so this is the review request campaign, and I'm gonna run you through what it does before we get into the technicals here. But essentially what we're doing here is before asking a customer to leave a review for the business, we wanna find out if they had a good experience or not. And the reason why is if somebody had a bad experience, we might not necessarily wanna get a bunch of one-star reviews for our customers because that's going to make us look bad. And so number one, what we need is a way to filter out bad reviews from the good ones. And then number two is a way to convert those bad reviews into happy customers. And number three, a way to convert those good reviews into loyal customers. And that's exactly what this automation is going to do. And so this is one that I built for a gym. And like I said before, if you guys want access to all this pre-built, it's something that I give away to all my affiliates. And so this is just a very simple message. Hey, this is Susie from Location Name. I wanted to personally reach out to you and see how you've been doing. Have you been enjoying the gym? So this was for a gym. And this is, have you been enjoying the gym determines what's gonna happen next because then we can use the high level AI with a contact reply function and we set the conditions for did we receive a positive response or did we receive a negative response here and then if we receive a bad response what ends up happening is we tag it the customer so that we can see who's had a bad experience with this business but then we send in a notification to whoever the manager is who's whoever's responsible for handling upset customers and then this is the beauty because bad customers actually turn into loyal ones as well because let's say somebody had a bad experience at a restaurant and all of a sudden the manager hears about it and then they take care of it it's enough to sometimes flip the entire situation and get that person to come back and so somebody says something like oh um yeah we had dinner it was all right it wasn't the best it was okay then you can have the manager send out an offer saying like hey i'd love to take care of you and your friends the next time you come in and so here's a 30 percent off um for a party of four dinner or hey here's a 40 dollars credit for a party of four to come in and just like that we are now giving that person a reason to come back we are showing them that they care and we're now starting to flip a bad review into a positive experience now the offers are going to be different for every industry but there's always an offer that we can run and then likewise we can do something similar with positive reviews where if somebody had a great time we can still give them an offer to turn them into a loyal customer by getting them to come back and so here's what happens in the workflow we then have the positive branch over here where we tag somebody with a good experience we send them the review request which is going to take them to a page like this and if we get that positive review then boom the company here whoever the client is they can decide if they want to offer some kind of incentive or a gift or not but then that would be the next logical thing that we would do and so that's what's happening on this side of the campaign here and so let's talk about what happens on this branch, which is in short, we are gonna be following up with the customer if they don't respond to our initial message. And whenever we get a response, the same set of triggers happens here where was it a good response or a bad response? And if we don't get a response, we follow up with them again. And the messaging is simple. There's no reason to overcomplicate it. So in this case, contact first name, really curious about the new member experience. Have you been enjoying the gym? And if they, and we're also pairing that up with an email now. And then if they don't follow up after five days, we're gonna stop bugging them because that's how you get neutral people to turn into bad reviews. But then if we do get that response, everything just funnels back to over here. And so this is a very easy automated campaign to set up. And the way that we would actually apply this in real life for let's say a restaurant would just be when somebody shows up for their reservation and they're marked as having showed up. So then, and we would change this from seven days because like once again, this was for a gym to maybe let's do like 60 minutes or an hour. So that way they show up, they have an hour to eat and then they receive the whatever your message is gonna be. Okay, perfect. And so now we've gone over a lot of things including what the business model is, which is gonna be helping people get reviews, how to get customers for it, how to reach out to those customers. And I've gone over how to deliver the results to the customer. And so now let's go over the next part, which is how do you take a business like this and you scale it? So number one, I think in-person sales, there's a lot of power to it, being able to visit these restaurants, use that QR code strategy that I gave you. But let's say you don't want to do that. You just want to keep strictly online like I did. Then what you're going to need is case studies and testimonials. So 
every single client that you get, you want to document the results that you were able to get for them and just plaster them all over your website. Show that, hey, I was able to get this restaurant 52 reviews in a week. I was able to get this restaurant 400 reviews over six months. I was able to get this restaurant 342 reviews over this time period. And this is what the business owner had to say about it. And when you start building up those case studies, it becomes super easy for you to scale because then you have all of that proof. And not only that, but business owners talk. And so if you do a good job for one restaurant owner, they're going to tell all their restaurant friends about it. And those are all going to be clients for you. And so now the last thing that we address is how do you price these services? Look, straight up, you can sell this for as little as like 49 bucks a month or 99 bucks a month. But here's the truth. There's a company out there, they're called Podium. They're worth $3 billion. And this, what I just showed you here, this is what they do. And they charge $500 a month for it. And they're worth $3 billion. And so essentially what we've done in this video is I've given you a $3 billion system. And so you get to pick the price point that you want to charge for this. Now, to be completely frank with you guys, if you're just starting out and you're brand new, what's most important is going to be getting those case studies and getting that confidence that you're doing good in the world and you're a good marketer. And so maybe start charging 99 bucks a month. And then after a couple customers go up to $2.99 a month. And then after a couple more customers, that's when you go over to $4.99 a month. And so with that said, don't forget all of these automations and coaching. I offer a ton of free value to my go high level affiliate. If you want to upgrade your SaaS account or start a 30 day free trial, the automation software that I just showed you guys, the link for that is going to be down below. I do go live in the community every week to help out all the new members. It's extremely important to me that if you join high level, that I'm going to be a steward to shepherd your success. And so with that said, I will catch you guys later. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.